The Champlains are clerics that vow to serve as a priest in the battlefield. Once you become a Champlain, you will remain as a Champlain for the rest of your life. They specialize in mending the broken spirit of the soldier who are fatigued by the inevitable slaughters of the battles, and make use of the goddess power to assist them in action. Champlains are a military class that use divine powers to aid its allies in combat, and only the advanced priests at the highest level can become a Champlain. Welcome to the Tree of Savior class spotlight, featuring Champlain, the Battle Priest. Champlain is one of the most unique classes that specialize in basic attack in Tree of Savior, and the majority of Champlain abilities synergize each other to empower its wielders. There are a total of 6 different abilities available in the Champlain skill tree, which include Last Riot, Visible Talents, Vienna Shields, Deploy Capellas, Pilotic's Time, and then Aspigalium. Champlain first ability is called Last Riot. It applies Holy Poverty to their own basic attack based on 4 status Strength, Dex, SPR, and Intelligence, which allowing them to deliver additional property hit. The effect is intensified when the enemy HP falls below 50%. Additionally, unlocking the promoting spirit attribute of Last Ride will increase the HP threshold by 2% per attribute. Champlain's second skill is called Visible Talent, a powerful ability that stores a total damage of basic attack and at least 4% of accumulated damage into the next 25 basic attack. By activating the ability, Champlain will receive a special buff for the first 10 seconds. Any basic attack will store the damage, and after 10 seconds, Champlain will receive 25 stack of Visible Talent. Its basic attack will deal additional damage of the 4% accumulated basic damage that was stored in the first 10 seconds. Visible Talents also has an artist attribute called In Goddess Name. It converts Visible Talents accumulated damage storage into a passive effect that allows Champlain to ignore enemy blocks and invasion when attacking, and deal additional damage in proportion of their blocks and invasion status. Next is Champlain's main attack ability and it's called Binacio. Binacio is a buff ability that enhances Champlain basic attack. It converts Champlain basic attack into two slow consecutive basic attack. The animation is very similar to Pilot Conviction skill. Binacio. Champlain 4 ability is called Deploy Capella. It's a buff ability that increases the damage of Holy Poverty attack for nearby allies for a short period of time. Additionally, Deploy Capella also has an attribute called Repentance. Instead of deploying Capella nearby for the party members, Champlain applies the buff to themselves, reducing the holy damage effect by half, but also ignores 10% enemy defense when attacking with basic attack, and change the buff duration from 30 seconds to 30 minutes. Champlain also receives a special buff called Trust. Getting one stack of trust whenever Champlain stop moving, and deduct one stack while moving around. The buff stack up to 10 times and reduce the damage taken by 1% per stack. Champlain's fifth ability is called Paralytic's Time, or PT for short. It's a buff ability that makes Champlain immune to knockback and knockdown effects while reducing enemy movement speed tremendously for 5 seconds with any type of attacks. The buff duration is cut in half in PvP content. And lastly, we have Aspigillium. It's a buff ability that empowers Champlain weapons with holy waters and causing splash attack with every single swing. Aspigillium also has an art attribute called Magus Exorcimus. It converts Aspigillium holy water buffs into a powerful magic circle, releasing a powerful pillar that does damage over time for 15 seconds. Aspigillium. Moving on to the Champlain skill build. The more common skill build for Champlain is 4.2 Last Ride, 1.2 Visible Talent, 15 Binacio, 10 Deploy Capella, 10 PT, and 5 Aspigillium. 
This skill will prevent character from unlocking promoting spirit attribute for less right, while maximizing out the PT for permanent knockback effect. The skill will also offer a great alternative option for the Gazing Gun card user as it requires percent chain to trigger the pain barrier effect. However, a player which max out last right, they can always drop PT and view two up to three Gazing Gun cards for the knockback immunity effect instead. In addition, there are two different class builds combination paths that a player can choose from, such as physical and magic TPS build. The common physical builds for gem playing is Inquisitor, Kabbalah, and Gem Plane, while the magic version is Kushitor, Kabbalah, and Gem Plane. There are other options as well, such as Crivix, Jitterbytes, and Paladins, a player which will replace Kabbalist for the class build. If you are interested in building a physical champ playing for your character, then I recommend using the following skill build for Inquisitors. 15 points for Gosh Mask, 1 point PO Anguish, 15 Breaking Will, 3 Malias Mafika Rooms, 1 Aura Maidens, 5 Jetmen, and 5 Reapers. As for the Kabbalist class, 4 point into Revenge Sevenfold, 15 Eye Soft, 5 Merkinba, 0 Clone, 1 Notary Cont, 10 Nat Hash, 5 point into Gebura, and 5 3 of Sephiroth. The Magic Champlain skill build is going to be the same for both Champlain and Kabbalah skill 3, but the Kushida skill 3 would look something like this 5 point into Chan, 15 point into Ring of Light, 10 second, 10 Condemn, and 5 point into Protection of Goddess. Holy Smash and Retaliation is not necessarily required, but if you want to unlock those skills, then I recommend using extra skill point between level 445 to 460. Moving into the playstyle. Champlain can be a little bit tricky even though it's an auto attack class. You will be spending a lot of time holding the Z or the auto attack hockey throughout the gameplay. However, your gaming experience might be different based on your class combination. A good example would be Champlain, Inquisitor, and Kabbalist. This whole class build combination focused on utilizing Gebura to reduce the cooldowns of multi hitting ability like Breaking Will, Reapers, and Binacio. Merkaba is one of Kabbalist skills that synergize really well with Champlain and Inquisitor. The most common skill combo would be casting all the Champlain buff first and then leave out visible talent before casting Merkaba. After that, follow up with Notary Cons and then use Gebura combos for extra damage and cooldown. Set up the visible talent and then set up the Breaking Wheel combo with Binacio. Another combination you can actually do is send a Breaking Bad Breaking Wheel combo with Reapers, without worrying about the visible talent to increase your auto attack damage, but you cannot expect the overall complexity of Champlain even though it's just another class that focused on auto attack. Skill spam, synergy, and timing is everything when it comes to Champlain. The Champlain main weapon choice include one hand mace and a shield. Usually, most cleric DPS builds use two hand mace weapons and a trinket. There are many good reasons why this setup is much better for Champlain. First, Champlain by Vora increased Binacio range effects and skill factor, making a close combat ability into a full pledged AoE ability, giving Champlain a powerful toolkit to attack any target from a distance. Secondly, Binacio's skill factor scale along with added damage status, which enables Champlain to utilize the shield mastery attributes that increase added damage status based on the shield defense. And lastly, one hand main synergy with one of the Kabbalah's attributes, Style of Kabbalah, which increases your character maximum magic attack by 20% when equipping one hand mace or the rod weapon. Champlain Art Equipment is Sweep Art, a powerful art that solely focuses on auto attack. The Sweep Art enables Champlain to stand out three consecutive basic attacks after activating the Sweep Art, making the skill of Binacio and Aspis Galen more compatible against single target or using it with breaking wheel combos. Champlain have several options for the accessories such as Caroline Pytus for physical DPS, Strikers for magic DPS, and Predity for the hyper endgame scaling with Binacio, thanks to the Champlain by Bora added damage status effect. Strikers is not necessarily required because Pytus or Predity will scale much higher compared to a single force wave proc effect. Predity applies extra damage every 40 attack or 35 if you have the full stat along with the braces, making Caroline Predity the best accessory choice along with the Sweat Bar. On the other hand, Caroline Pytus apply extra damage buffs after triggering the Raging Fire passive, but the Lucifer Pytus is much stronger thanks to the extra damage hit factor. Moving forward with the Inker equipment, Stango is a great choice for the auto attack class like Champlain's because it increased the basic damage up to 400% by having 4 pieces of Stango Inkers. The Inker equipment effect lasts up to 15 seconds and it has a maximum of 5 stacks. In order to reach 5 stacks of 5% bonus damage for basic damage, Champlain can use the cleric basic skill called Smite, which has 5 overheat to maximize out the Stango's effects. Champlain card setup is various based on the content, however, the most common one would be 3 Prison Cutter for the red. 
2 Zora and 1 Nero for the blue, 1 Gazing Golem and 2 Red Jet for the purple, and 3 Bloods for green. In addition, Champlain and game card setup would look something like this. 3 Gomet for red, 2 Zora and 1 Nero for blue, 3 May cards or 3 Gazing Golem for the purple, depending on if your Champlain builds had PT max out or not, and 3 Lucia for green. As for the legendary card, Champlain can use legendary tantalizer to maximize out the added damage status for Champlain by Vora, or use legendary monarchs for extra minimum crit chance. Dorta and Guilting card is another option as well, but is not necessarily required. And lastly, the goddess card. Champlain have a few options for the goddess card, which includes Sole, Dahlia, and Alstrasta. Sole is a great card for both physical and magic DPS depending on the main status like strength and intelligence, while Dahlia apply more dot damage and Alstrasta for physical DPS. Thank you for tuning in to the video until the very end. If you enjoy what I'm doing on YouTube, then consider subscribing and dropping a like for this video. My name is Satoshi and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.